Last dance with Mary Jane, Tom Petty, the chords. Really easy. A minor. Here's A minor. Here's G. Here's your D. And then A minor. And then let's go to E minor in the chorus. Always go from the E note. And we're going to go to an A. Simple. And a little bit of an A suspension. Okay, okay with that third finger, slide it up the next fret. You can pick it separately if you like. That might be the only tricky bits in here. There's a bit of a, let's try a little rhythm bits, a little strumming on the A minor, okay? Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to, here's your A minor. Okay, now. Now, on this A minor bit, uh, normally on E minor I would tell you to strike, uh, to pick the, the A string down. Now on this A minor, we don't. We want to go from the D string, just the D and the G. Just the D string, the D, G, and the B. Because we want to get that rhythm in. So you want to lift the two fingers up. On that, sorry, on that second strum, you can hit the A if you like, but that might confuse you. So let's just leave the A string out of it for now. Okay. See that see just that the E minor is one of the tricky bits in it, so lift G D A minor A. A little lift at the end of it. G D A minor lift lift D A minor G. Alright, let's just do the chorus. I think we'll be done. And E minor with the E string down. Last down to Mary Jane. E minor. And then A suspension. Okay, let's try that again. Now on this dip, sometimes I'm doing the E string first, and then everything, just to get another beat in there. That's everything in the song. Play that back and forth a few times, you'll have it within 20 minutes you'll be playing the song, no worries. Pretty easy one to sing and play at the same time as well, so nice one to start with.